Hello, I'm Lawrence and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to place names. Specifically, place names that are bloody hard to say. It's been a while since the last entry in this series, which was Florida, so moving alphabetically and one state north, we now move on to Georgia. And so, as always, a humongous thank you to this week's Timeless 10 who sent in their place name suggestions for Georgia. <laughs> alphabetically, the next state is Hawaii, so if you want to see me look like an absolute idiot, because that one is going to be hard, then put your suggestions for Hawaii below. I can't even pronounce Hawaii. And if you want to see me butcher these place names and you haven't subscribed to this channel, then do that now. Without further ado, here is my attempt at pronouncing some of the weird place names in Georgia. My first thought here is that the people of Georgia simply don't know how to spell Dracula and they missed out the R, but they may pronounce it in a similar way, so Dacula. Christopher Lee as Count Dacula. It could work, I don't know. Probably isn't that, so I'm going to change my guess, because everybody knows that always works, to Dacula. Let's see what it is. Dacula. Oh wow, it seems I was in fact correct. This is easy. Hold on a minute, I know this place. Vienna is the capital city of Austria. But as we know, America has a well-known history that I've talked about on this channel before of taking place names that exist elsewhere in the universe, just the world, and changing the way we say it. So this is probably pronounced something like Vina. First guess, this time I'm gonna go with my initial instinct. It is Vina. Vienna. I stand corrected, or at least sit corrected. I don't really know where to start with this. I mean, the first four letters do spell out the last name of a famous children's writer. So, Dal Onega. Dal Onega. Dal Onega. I think it's just going to be as simple as that. I don't want to change my answer. Though that didn't work for me in the last round. Dal Onega is my final answer. Dal Onega. I was always told in life to go with your first instinct, but that is absolute bull****. And my first instinct on this one is Sonoya. So I'm going to shift, just like I did in my first answer, which I got correct. So I'm going to change it to something else, like Sonoya. Oh, that feels weird. Sono Sonoya. Senoya. 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 That felt good. Felt good to say. Felt good to think. And now it's going to feel good to make my final answer. Senoya. Senoy. Oh, well now, a silent vowel in a place name. Being an Englishman, I wouldn't know anything about that. This, of course, a place name in New York, the capital city of New York State, where it is pronounced, I believe, Albany. So I'm assuming that since many of you did suggest this place, that this is not how you say this version. You know, when I was younger and I saw the name Albany, as in New York, I used to get it confused with the country of Albania. Maybe there's some connection in some way. And I'm thinking that in Georgia, they say it more like you would say Albania. For instance, Albany. Oh, Oh, it feels awkward. But then again, some of these do, and they turn out to be, in fact, the way these people say them. So, Albany, Georgia is my final answer. And you can't take that away from me. You might be able to take away the points. Let's have a look. So, it seems like there's a lot of conjecture over this one. Georgia's state website says that it's either Albany or Albany. So in that instance, I would be correct. But there is one chap who is a self-proclaimed Atlanta PR guy who says that Albany, Georgia is pronounced Albany, not Albany or Albany, whatever I said. So I don't know if I'm right. Maybe I only get a third of a point. Does that even count? Give me a whole point because I need it. Ooh, speaking of words that are absolute mouthfuls, this looks like a big challenge. A challenge that I could do without right now, but uh, I see obviously there's a Z in there, or a Z, and a P and an H, and some peculiar combinations of letters. So Hefzibar seems logical enough, wouldn't you say? Hefzibar or Hefzibar? Hefzibar, Hefzibar. Let's, let's change that I vowel to an E. Hefzibar. It's def definitely wrong. This is definitely going to be wrong. Let's have a listen. Hepziba, Georgia. I was wrong on two counts. That second H is meaningless. Hepziba. And definitely don't elongate that final vowel as if you were a sheep. There's no bar. It is buh. 
Okay, I'll just get this out of the way. My first instinct was Ludovici, which, when I say that out loud, makes it sound like Mario's brother, but in German or Polish or something. But I don't think it is going to be how it's pronounced, is it? So, Ludovici to Ludovici, Ludovici, Ludovi Ludovici. Oh, that was weird. Oh, but if it is German, that W would be pronounced with a V. Not in America. But we'll do it anyway. Ludovici. That's what it is. It's Ludovici. Ludovici. Luda Wissy. Well, now I feel ludicrous, not the rapper. What is that? That it looks like somebody tried to spell Houston while they were drunk. How could you even begin? Uh, ha Hoshton. Hoshton again sounds quite German. That sounds. Uh, how else could you do this? Hoshton maybe? Uh, or may maybe they just don't even bother with the vowels and it's just. Shtun. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Hoshton. That's not my final answer. The, probably Hoshton. Hoshton. It's Hoshton. Is that because at one time people in the south sort of pronounced uh, that O sound as an O uh sound and it just evolved? Or am I just trying to justify this? Because that is really weird. Again, I am from England, so I don't have a leg to stand on, which is why I'm sitting down. Oh, great. Another word with multiple H's in it. Well, they are my favourite and this one looks like it's going to trip me up big time. Hahira. Hahira sounds like Shakira. Hahira Shakira. No. Hahira Hahira. Hahira Hahira. I think it's Hahira Georgia. Again, that was my first instinct. This is such a dangerous game. But I'm going to go with it. Hahira. Oh, Hahira. Hahira. Second instinct. Hahira Georgia. Hahira, how you doing? That is not a pickup line. It is. That's just how I say this place. Let's do it. Hahira. Hahira. I wasn't far away, was I? I just got the last part wrong, so my apologies to Shakira. This really wasn't about you. It was about somebody who I've never met before. I've never met Shakira, just to be clear. Okay, well this one's going to be an absolute bloodbath because you have multiple vowels in there, all of which could be pronounced in many different ways. So the combinations here are almost infinite. Getting it wrong is an absolute inevitability. But I'm going to try my best. So, Vidalia is how I thought it might be said, but probably isn't. Vidalia, 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 that is, it just doesn't work for anybody. I think the, the emphasis though is probably going to be on that middle syllable. So Vidalia, Vidalia, there's Dahl again. Roll Dahl has entered the building, having exited it earlier and he's come back. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Vidalia, Georgia is my final answer. Vidalia. You have to be joking me. I told you that these vowels would be pronounced in multitudes of ways. Now I just look like an absolute numpty. Oh, go away, vowels. Taliaferro. Taliaferro. Taliaferro sounds good. Taliaferro County, Georgia. Ooh, can you imagine, though, being a newsreader and having to say that? Or just having to say this word in general, no matter how it's pronounced. But I'm going to go with that. Taliaferro County, Georgia. Tolliver County. Tolliver. D does Georgia just not believe in pronouncing the final vowel in a word? Let me know what you think. I'd be particularly interested to hear from people in the capital city of Atlant. Ah, Georgia, or, or George, at this point. You don't seem to like vowels, we've established that. And you also don't like H's, so I think we can drop a few of these letters, right? And we're just going to go with Wa Walterville. Walterville. Okay, well, hey, bonus points for being correct about the H. But zero points for my guess on the whole. This is getting really embarrassing. So let's finish off in the grand manner. Okay, so Cairo, obviously the capital city of Egypt as well. But do you know what? We have a Cairo here in Illinois. I learned this not too long ago. We pronounce it Cairo. I could definitely see a world in which Georgians do the exact same. I could also see a world in which they don't. So this is going to be fun. I think it's going to be... What else can you do with this? Kisero. Although those initial consonants tend not to get changed too much by American city planners, I think that it would be the vowels, probably something like Cairo. Cairo. Well, that is now officially the third way I've heard of pronouncing Cairo. So, you know, one for every pyramid. Well, that was awful. My apologies to the people of Georgia. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. These videos are made possible by patrons like you, but only if you become a patron, which you can do at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video, goodbye.